So the question is this, should every Christian be functioning in ministry? If you are a Christian, is it okay for you to actually be a part of ministry, to do ministry? Or do you have to wait a certain period of time before God could use you? Now, I'm going to say this, guys, right off the bat. Every single Christian, every single believer ought to be occupying their ministry, utilizing the gifts that God has given them in order to what? Uh, to bless the church and to spread the word of God and be a blessing to those who don't know God. Now, some of you may be, may be pushing back and like, look, um, Mike, I don't know enough. You know, um, I struggle with this sin and I, and I struggle with that sin. Some of us may have an excuse like, you know what, my, my pastor is, you know, he's or her is mighty and strong and they could do it all. Um, that's not what the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches that each and every one of us have been called by God to be used by God. A lot of us are struggling with doubt within ourselves. We don't believe that we actually have the intellect or the strength or the ability or the Bible knowledge in order to function in the ministry that God has called us to function in. But you need to know one thing, guys. Check this out. The same spirit that is in Christ Jesus that resurrected him from the dead, the Bible says that same spirit dwells in you. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, all right, it says this, check this out, verse 13. For by one spirit are we all baptized into the one body, all right, the body of Christ. Regardless of who you are, whether you be a Jew, a Gentile, whether you are bond or free, male or female, doesn't really matter. We've been all born into the body of Christ through one spirit. And this one spirit, all right, is the one by whom all the gifts of God comes from. Now, check this out, guys. Verse 14 says, For the body is not one member, but the body is made up of many members. If the foot shall say, Because I am not the hand, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? So basically what Paul is just saying right here is he's using an, an, an analogy of the physical body. And he's basically saying, hey, look, if your foot was to speak and let it be known that, hey, because I am not the hand. Or if the hand was to speak and say, look, I am not of the I, I am not the foot. Therefore, I am not of the body. Does that actually make any sense at all? No. What we do know is that the, the hand is not the foot and the foot is not the hand, but they both are a part of the one body. And that is the problem with many of us. We are so dependent on one person. We are so dependent on the hand to be the whole body or the foot to be the whole body. If the heirs, verse 16, if the heirs were, were to say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? No. So clearly, guys, we already know that our members are a part of one body. Now, Listen, guys, this is the problem that we have within our church. All right. We are, as I said, we are too dependent on one person. It may be your pastor or someone on the choir to do all the things that God has called the church to be a part of and to do. And the Bible says in verse 28 that God has set some in the church. First apostles, prophets, teachers, those in different ministries, teaching, you know, hospitality and this is not for one person, all right? God has given you what you need through the one spirit in order to do the work of God and to be a part of what God is actually doing in order that the body may function accordingly. So, look guys, um, you matter and you need to understand that you matter for the health and well-being of what God is doing on this earth. So my encouragement to you is to find out exactly the giftings and the calls that God has on your life and to begin to do it. Now, once again, some of you may be, may be, may be like, look, um, I'm, not, I'm not adequate. I'm not equipped. Like Moses said, look, God, I'm not equipped. I'm not adequate. I can't do this. So what God oftentimes does is, you see, even though we may not be where God is calling us to be, eventually, we are working our way to becoming what God is calling us to be. So you may be called to be an open air preacher, 
But maybe this is not the season for you to be out there in the open air. Are you studying the word of God? Like, what are you doing? Are you taking time to learn of God? If you are called to be an intercessor of prayer, a warrior for God in the realm of prayer, are you actually beginning to do the things that you need to do in order to be all that you can be in the ministry and be all that you can be ultimately as God takes you step by step? So there's always something for us to be doing, no matter who you are or what stage of your life in Christ may be at. So just be encouraged, guys, and don't be easily swayed by those who feel like because they have, you know, a, a, a certain type of title or they have, you know, certain types of certificates and diplomas and doctorates and all that sort of, you know what I'm talking about, as if that makes them more, more superior than you. The problem is this. If they are the hand and you are the foot. They could do whatever they want to do, but they ain't going anywhere. So remember, guys, it's up to you. It's up to you to function in order for the body to function. Anyways, guys, that's all I got on this one. Let me know what you think. And um, yeah, that's all I got, guys. Love you all. Take it easy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as well to help with the ministry. That's it. Until next time, you already know. Saw love. Peace.